Hey friends, today I want to tell you about a man in the Bible who is both young and bold for God. In the book of Job, we see a man named Job who suffered more than we could ever imagine. He lost his family, his livestock, and his health was deteriorating. In the midst of these hard times, Job sought counsel. He gathered his friends to mourn with him over his loss. His friends Eliphaz, Bildad, and Zophar do their best to try and explain to Job why these bad things are happening. But ultimately, they end up putting God in a place of blame for this. Throughout their time together, they begin to lose faith in God and who he says he is. This is until the fourth friend spoke up. His name was Elihu. Elihu had waited for the others to speak to Job because they were older than he. How many of us have felt this before? We don't feel our opinion is valued or will be listened to because of our age, so we refuse to speak. Therefore, we limit what God can do in us as young people. Let me show you some of the wisdom that he shares with the others. He says, I am young and you are old, so I held back from telling you what I think. I thought those who are older should speak, for wisdom comes with age. But there is a spirit within people, the breath of the Almighty within them, that makes them intelligent. Sometimes the elders are not wise, and sometimes the aged do not understand justice. So listen to me and let me tell you what I think. Man, talk about a mic drop moment. Elihu begins his case for God by saying that, no, I don't have as much experience as the rest of you do, but I have the same spirit of God inside me that you do. Later in the story, Elihu begins to be the only one that points the rest of the group back to trusting and following God. Who would have thought that the youngest of all the men in that group would be the one that was the most wise? Church, I am here today to tell you that wisdom does not come from experience. It comes from God and God alone. Young people, do not discount yourself because of your age, because you have the same spirit of God within you as Abraham, Moses, and David. And elders, do not discount the impact or wisdom that a younger person might have for you. I'm here to tell you that God still speaks through young people. So join me tomorrow in looking at the second half of this message where we see how Elihu was not only wise in his age, but he was bold in his age.